Hello and welcome to Give and Take, The Virtues in Life. And today's topic is empowering the community. But before we go there, I want to start by saying that this uh, light on the table here is representing the light of souls who have transitioned. In particular today, um, a very dear soul, um, has, uh, they're having a memorial for her because she, um, she um, transitioned last Friday. And so they had um, the cremation on Friday gone. And now today they're having the memorial. Um, so I just want to say I want to have this light there for all of those who have transitioned. And, um, and so they've gone on for their journey and they will continue their journey in whatever way that journey is set out for them. So now we're going to go back to empowering the community and our guest will introduce himself. So welcome. Welcome. Thank okay. you. And your name is? My name is uh, Phil Andrews, mm -hmm. and I'm the president of Long Island African American Chamber of Commerce, Fantastic. New York State's largest African American Chamber of Commerce. Lovely. So tell me, how did you get started in that, Phil? Well, prior to um, coming to be president of, of the uh, Long Island African American Chamber of Commerce, I was serving as president of 100 Black Men of Long Island. Okay. And much like the president that. of the United States, I was term limited. So <laughs> the fact that I was term limited, uh -huh. uh, I got a call and asked, uh, would you like to lead uh, the Long Island African American Chamber of Commerce? Mm -hmm. And just God works in uh, miraculous ways Amazingly. and have things in store for us that we don't even know. Mm -hmm. And um, it's been since 2013 I've been the president and it has grown tremendously as an organization around Excellent. the state. Mm. So tell me about some of the things that you've done from fruition to present. Well, one of the things I've done um, uh, Prior to um, becoming um, the president of uh, 100 Black Men of Long Island, mm -hmm. I was a franchise owner. I had a, a chain of barbershops that I mm -hmm. built from ground up called the Haircut Hut Barbershop uh, Franchise. Mm -hmm. And one of the things was unique about it is that we had a banner up in the site, in the business that said, value systems determine human possibilities. Mm -hmm. okay. So I believe that uh, when we have values, uh, we can make things work in this Absolutely. world. Absolutely. And the name of the show, the values, virtues, you know, it's, it's, it's perfect, exactly, perfect it's virtuous values. And so we have to have those because we, we have a common core of, of virtues. And so that doesn't change. We all want love. We all want peace. We all, we are, we are that. Mm -hmm. And we look for that. It's because we are that. And so when we have that, then we feel much, at, you know, much in a better place moving forward. That's so right. when you took on this task, what did you think it was going to entail? Well, um, I didn't know, uh, I mean, I've been a business owner, so uh, Chamber of Commerce, um, I know I had to drive the organization, mm -hmm. and um, I guess in a way that uh, everything I've ever done in my life, God was already preparing me for Amazing. this position. Mm -hmm. So that's the way I look at it, that uh, he moves us in just in the right time, in the right place. Mm -hmm. And um, I love helping people. I've, I've been a community leader a long time, okay. so it was perfect. I've been a business owner, so I understood the needs of businesses. Mm -hmm. So it's just, uh, some people call it uh, a perfect fit. Right. You know. Mm -hmm. So now I saw, I've been looking at some of you, we've spoken and I've seen some of the events that you've had. Share some of the key events that you've uh, uh, um, organized and, and like you were telling me about one in February that's coming up. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, we do, um, for the f last four years we've had the um, uh, annual African American art history uh, celebration at Bloomingdale's where okay. we um, send our RFPs mm -hmm. for artists to submit works to be uh, hung up in Bloomingdale's during the month of Black History Month. Oh, lovely. And we have a big reception, jazz, mm -hmm. uh, entertainment, refreshments. Right. And the art stays there all month for Black History Month in Bloomingdale's. Mm -hmm. And the artists are able to sell their work and uh, Bloomingdale doesn't take a penny. And right. each piece of art is fitted to the room that they put the furniture in, Bloomingdale's Furniture Gallery. Mm, nice. So now, how many members do you have uh, in part of the? Uh, uh, we have approximately about two hundred and fifty members, which excellent. is a, which is a substantial amount of business yes. owners for a small new organization. Mm -hmm. And just recently, we had the first African American um, Expo, mm. and as a result of the African American Business Expo at Nassau Community College, we set up our first endowment fund for people going back going back to school. It's called a uh, Nassau County. Ed Nassau Community College Equal Opportunity Educational Fund. Right. So we got a permanent endowment 
the, since this chamber been open. And we're a young organization to do right. great stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So how many members are in the organization? Well, we have 250, but we impact um, a lot. I, I, well, I, I didn't mean that. I meant in regards to the core uh, members of the SU and... and well, we have a board, we have a board of the directors, board, right. and then mm -hmm. we have um, what they call... Um, each, each county has a director. We serve, mm -hmm. currently serve four counties, Queens County, Kings mm -hmm. County, Nassau, and Suffolk. Mm -hmm. uh, but we outreach uh, to other places too, and, and we have also committee chairs. Because mm -hmm. if you want something done, right. get a chairman. The chairman <laughs> will get it done. <laughs> Excellent. Mm -hmm. So um, let's. I think at this time we'll take a look at the first picture, and we'll talk about the first picture here. Okay. So there's no limit to what one can accomplish through relief and right action. So tell us about this. This looks, this looks interesting. Well, for one, um, I had went on another TV show, uh -huh. and uh, that first part of the uh, saying is that when he looked at my work, that's what it symbolized, that there was nothing that we cannot accomplish with right belief and action. Mm -hmm. And then after that, you'll see a direct quote by me that I live by. And mm. if you'd like to read it, it's, it's yeah, Excellent, very good. So, um, if one wanted to uh, be a part of the organization, how would they reach you? How would they contact you? And what is the, the steps to do that? Well, they would um, just go on and lo log into www.liac.org, mm -hmm. and we have, we're fully automated for people to join us. Mm -hmm. um, they can contact us. They can sign up to be on our list. Mm -hmm. They can review us, um, the work that we've done. And we also encourage people to Google us. Okay. You know, uh, when you Google people, you really find out what they do. Right. So we're on, we on Google+, Plus. we're on Instagram, Facebook, mm -hmm. and Twitter. So we're on the major social uh, media handles today, Excellent. which are very important. Mm -hmm. So now, do you network beyond um, New York? You know, do you uh, network with, uh, say, like, California and those different uh, um, states. Well, we do network today. Uh, once you're on the internet, you're automatically worldwide. Mm -hmm. So we've even at our recent exactly. um, our recent um, expo, we had people come from like four four states to Long Island for our expo. Mm. So today we're in a, um, a worldwide. Once we go on the internet, you're already worldwide. Exactly. And people do business together uh, through through internet, through mm -hmm. computers. Mm -hmm. uh, we move documents uh, through fax. Uh, also emails. Matter mm -hmm. of fact, they're taking up most mailboxes off the corner because people are not using them. Mm -hmm. So we live in an age of the internet. So I think um, that makes uh, trade a little more better across right. the country, Seamless. across the globe. And we talk to people. Mm -hmm. Even recently, um, uh, I found out that you can translate any language into, you don't even know the language somebody's talking to you, <laughs> and you just put in uh, change this from Creole to English, and I could have a conversation with people, and I've done it several times oh, around the world. Oh, wow. So t today we live in a different type of society. Yeah. So, um, so have you connected with some of the other countries in regards to the African, what, do you know some of them? Can you name some of the countries that also have these kinds of organizations? Well, um, there are other countries there. Um, I'm not familiar with the, um, the particular names, but we are a member of the U.S. Black Chambers of Commerce, mm -hmm. and they um, have 150 chambers, and we are a member too, so we have mm. some chambers from Africa. Great. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So do you get the opportunity to travel to these other countries, or will you get the opportunity? There's so much work in New York, I don't get out much. <laughs> it's a lot of work, and New York is a very busy market. It is, um, yeah. I think we're one of the most um, hyper markets in the country, so mm -hmm. the, the amount of meetings that we do, the amount of business organizations that we are tied to is just tremendous. Like, that's one of the things about New York. It's mm -hmm. so busy, you can always find something to do. Right. And we are a very busy organization. Mm -hmm. So tell me now about Phil. Well, Phil, <laughs> Phil is passionate. I'm passionate, and I and I, and I do uh, agree with the virtues um, because we have to um, have our character in a way that it could sustain the success. There's many people succeed, and then they can't handle the success because right. their character can't sustain it. So, and I, I'm also a person that believes that we have to keep studying. We have to keep studying. Um, we have to read. Uh, we have to learn about emotional intelligence, how we deal with others. Cause emotional that's, intelligence, Because, you know, yes. my own intelligence can only yeah, get me so far. Mm -hmm. But the real smart person 
is the one that know how to cue in the other people right. and work in and through people because everything that we really get comes through in, in other people. Mm -hmm. So what kind of uh, religious or spirituality um, uh, connection that you have in regards to, you talk about values, you talk about virtues, is there any one particular thing that you're into or you just... Um... Well, I, I read about every, all religions. I, mm -hmm. I mean, oh, I'll, I'll look at a documentary on Buddhism, mm. um, Christianity. Excellent. Um, I just love information, uh, Muslim communities. Mm. I, I like to, I have a conversation with Muslims that live in my building and, right. and I could say some words and I talk uh, some words in the Jewish language when right. I see some Jews that I know sh Shalom. So mm -hmm. I think we have to um, have an understanding. The better we understand other people's culture, we can um, probably communicate, exactly. maybe even if we don't know the language fully, but it opens right. the doorway to uh, relationships to me. Exactly. And but I am raised as a preacher's kid. Oh, so, so I, tell I, us I was about that. I was raised in the church and they thought I was going to be a minister. Mm -hmm. at I can early see that. Age. Yeah. <laughs> but this is a ministry Don't to me. Don't people say you're a minister? Yeah. Yes, yes. But it is a ministry. It's a ministry. And so to life me. is a ministry if you're out there teaching and um, sharing uh, values, virtues, religion, spirituality, you're ministering. I mean, if we look at the term minister, that's what it means. And it's someone a said that to it's me a unique time. calling too. Yeah, yeah, someone said that to me, are you a minister? And I said, no. And then I, I said, you know what, I am a minister. <laughs> because I, I, you know, I go out there and I share the virtues, you know, God's virtues. So I would be a minister. So it's not we tend to, you know, connect these words to one particular kind of umbrella, but it goes across the board. And so we are ministers, absolutely. Somebody, I think I read once that it said that, you know, an act of worship can be somebody playing basketball if they do it unto God. <laughs> so if you do your best and you do, uh, and it's your calling, mm -hmm. a lot of different areas could be considered ministry. Exactly. Very good. So I think we'll look at the second picture at this time. Oh, and look who that is. Who's that? That's a former guest, uh, yes, Georgia Woodbine. Yes. She's a uh, a multiple author. Uh, she spoke all over the country and she's just dynamic. Um, mm -hmm. She's got a couple of new books out and she just inspires so many people. Mm -hmm. So uh, she was at, that was at our Women's History Month program, uh, mm -hmm. Ladies of Lyac. We do an annual Women's Month program honoring ladies mm -hmm. that have uh, showed distinguished work in their careers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was a wonderful guest. It was lovely having and she, her on. Perhaps, and she was the keynote at that event. Oh, she was? Okay, yes. lovely, lovely. Yes. And so um, you just, so you'll do celebrations for like Women's History Month. What other kind of, um, uh, you know, events do you sort of celebrate as well? Uh, we also have a minority business enterprise development where we mm -hmm. teach people how to be certified to do business with the government. Oh, excellent. We also have a capacity building. Mm -hmm. We just did our first health fair too. We did a health mm -hmm. fair with a major company uh, uh, and, it, and we brought all different type of health care services because mm -hmm. without health, there's no wealth. That's right. So we did our first health fair and it was very successful. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, I think we'll look at the third picture now. Hmm, what is this? Those are news, like little, you know, like people always want to know about what you do. Mm -hmm. So we develop our own short news bits mm -hmm. where you can learn a lot about us in a few minutes. Okay. And the reason why I did it, the idea came to me was, you know, sometimes it's hard to get on media. But if you let, your, you let people know, it's a way to educate people what you do. We've been on WABC. Mm -hmm. We've been on NBC, Positively Black. Mm -hmm. You know, Here and Now uh, was the other show. Right. Uh, we've been featured in certain things. Mm -hmm. uh, we're part of the U.S. Black Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. You know, we're the largest African-American Chamber of Commerce. Because people, people are not going to remember. People are not going to remember. Long Island. Yeah, in, Long, in New York State. <laughs> so what it is, people are not going to remember everything that you tell them. Uh -huh. But if you give them a few pointers. Yes. Like even your show may say, you know, what's the main point is you want to so about your show is. virtues and values that's it so you let people know as a, a form of education to mm -hmm. uh, become more familiar with your brand and mm -hmm. that's where we put out news bites that's interesting that how did Long Island get to be like the biggest you know you would think somewhere like a New York City uh, they have their own chamber in New York yes, City. Yes, that's correct. And so how many members do they have in New York City do you know that I'm not sure but uh, by virtue of the numbers that we have we have um, 
our service territory, uh, Kings County has one million African Americans. Mm -hmm. Queens County got a half a million. Mm. And then um, Long Island has about 300,000 African Americans. So <laughs> when you look at the geographic numbers of those areas, yeah. it's the largest concentration mm -hmm. of African Americans in the country mm -hmm. in a particular region. So, hey, by virtue of us bringing those regions together, of course, it's New York is a, is a totally different market. It's one yes. of the only financial capitals in the world. Mm -hmm. So anything that goes into New York, it could really be big because the nation looks at New York right behind Washington. And New York is right there with Washington, D.C. Right. So, yeah. And we are blessed just to be uh, in this particular market. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are looking to really uh, bring the market together mm -hmm. and span throughout the state. You know, mm -hmm. we would love to come up in areas like Westchester members. We would have meetings up here. We would make a county director. So we are very um, active in really bringing around, uh, building the social social and economic mm -hmm. uh, communities in the regions that we serve. Right. And we need, and it's needed. We need, we need businesses. Um, we need uh, organizations that su support businesses. We mm -hmm. support restaurants. Right. We've had events where we had 200 people at a restaurant on Monday night. You know, mm -hmm. Monday nights are usually slow in the restaurant. Yes. So the Chamber of Commerce could really help uh, fuel yeah. growth. And it creates, exactly. and, and we could create success mm -hmm. for people's lives. That's what the bottom line is. We're a business organization. We're mm -hmm. interested in making people successful so they could uh, be continue to live in this New York region. It's a very expensive region. <laughs> so we need people to make money and succeed. Exactly. And, and that's very a part nice. of what we do. I like that. I really like that a lot. Um, do you sponsor, like, um, political debates or anything like that? Um, we have not done that, but we can um, mm -hmm. do uh, as a 501c6. We can do advocacy, but we do not endorse right. a particular candidate. Right. Mm -hmm. But we certainly um, are active in the community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I serve on several uh, committees, such as Controllers Committee, mm -hmm. the District Attorneys Committee, mm -hmm. uh, and their Business Advisory. So we are very integrated into the uh, government and the community. Okay, lovely. So I think at this time we'll look at the fourth picture. Oh. oh, that was our launch at Brooklyn Borough President's Office. Oh, that, very nice. One of the biggest events we had, uh, the Brooklyn Borough President hosted us when we installed our Brooklyn director. And as I tell you, see the difference? Brook Brooklyn is really massive, mm -hmm. you know, and that's just the first time we had an event. That's the turnout. Right. And it looks like the, over 250 are there. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> over 250 are there, yeah. <laughs> So, so we get a good attendance. We really generally get good attendance every month, which is a very hard thing for an organization to do, but we're doing good service. Mm -hmm. So if one, say for instance, lived um, uh, like far, like, you know, an hour or so away, two hours away from Long Island, how would you, would somebody be able to connect with the organization? Because it's, would you refer them to a local chapter or would you welcome them into the Long Island chapter? We would, we would welcome them because, um, you know, you know, a check can come from Long Island to Westchester. <laughs> so, so we could, if a, if a business is doing internet business or they do web design, mm -hmm. there's no barrier today because we communicate with people all over the world mm -hmm. today. And I think, um, people are looking uh, for a good organization rather than being in a weak organization. So I think um, we can help fill the void long, further than the market we currently serve. Excellent. That's perfect. So you're not saying, um, no, you've got to go here. Because sometimes, you know, your organization might do better for me than the one that's closer to me. So it's good to know that you don't say, well, it's not stepping on anybody's toes. It's going to where you feel is best for you. And so nobody should try to uh, think that you're doing something that you shouldn't be doing. We also collaborate. Right. We collaborate with other organizations. If they were, I mean, we would reach out to an organization in Westchester County to work together with us mm -hmm. because the bottom line is at the end of the day, the more people, the more help they have, the more successful they're going to become. Exactly. So, and, and today we need that. Um, those numbers of different organizations to work together so we can strengthen businesses because everybody might not use your particular service. Right. So the fact that maybe there's 100 people in this chamber over here mm -hmm. and 200 in there, but the 100 over here in this chamber don't do business with you at all. <laughs> so maybe 10 <laughs> is the other. So that's why you want right. to have that expanded uh, reach in the Chamber of Commerce. Right, right, right. Now, what kinds of businesses are in, like, um, with 250 businesses, are they... Like you've got 50 of one kind, one type, 
or is it a nice um, diversity? It's a diversity. We have mm. we have uh, New York Life agents. We have healthcare companies like Fidelis. We mm. have uh, mortgage companies that have been around since 1959. Mm. Uh, Mid Island Mortgage. Uh, we also have uh, people that have electrical. Uh, they sell electrical supplies and generators. Mm. Uh, we have people that do health employee benefits. We got people that do printing. So everybody, uh, even the big companies are still looking to be marketed mm -hmm. and still looking for customers because there's no such thing right. as um, a company having too much business. And then we get other big, big companies call us too because mm. we also advocate for certain That's things. Excellent. And they still, um, no matter how big a company is, they still compete in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. And by working with a local organization, who better to know the community than an organization that's rooted in the community? Mm. Yeah, I had to take a break there because it's one of the hottest days of the year. It's like, <laughs> like over in the 90s, was it hit That's true. It's very, yeah, it's very hot. Mm. Yeah. Yes. So I just had to take a break there. So um, what are some trainings that they do in the organization? Well, one of the training, we, we, we definitely believe in our leadership training because um, leadership, you know, our businesses cannot become more than what we are. Mm -hmm. And... Um, also, we bring in like uh, cat, uh, experts, like accounting. Just recently, the tax laws changed, so mm -hmm. we had a general meeting that brought in one of our members mm -hmm. to tell them about the house law. House, I mean, um, the law changes to the taxes. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we learned in uh, areas like Westchester mm -hmm. or Long Island that got very high taxes, they're no longer going to be able to deduct more than ten thousand dollars. So that's going to hurt some right. homeowners mm -hmm. because. When they get that return, that's how they help, that money helps them pay their mortgage all year. Right. So we bring things like that, like people need to know the new laws, because the laws change so fast, mm -hmm. but they, the people never got to hear what the law was going to be before it changed. Because so fast, you don't even so, know what's going um, on, you blink things and it's like, like that. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. Also, we uh, do things like uh, small business, uh, we call them capacity building, mm -hmm. you know, and technical assistance. A business sometimes doesn't know what it don't know. And then these experts, you know, like we, sure. there's certain things that we weaken, yeah, all of us. everything, of course. So we bring in, like, experts to mm -hmm. kind of, like, we get ready to have a boot camp. Mm -hmm. Actually, for, uh, September, the fall, October in the fall, we're doing a boot camp where we're going to go one-on-one -on -one to help businesses. Nice. Yeah. I like that. Because we have to support each other. We don't know everything, so it's nice that there's that in there. Mm -hmm. And the business owners are so busy that sometimes they don't have that time to go for training, mm -hmm. have somebody looking over, hey, why don't you do it this way instead yeah, of this way? Right. So, because the business owners, it's like a, somebody that bakes. Mm -hmm. They don't, they're don't. they not really concerned with all of the like management of the money, but mm -hmm. they just like to bake. <laughs> so they need these other skills <laughs> and these other mindsets. And that's a common problem in uh -huh. businesses that... There's certain things that we just love to do, and then uh, we need to uh, have somebody coaching us and mentoring us in the areas where we mm -hmm. really might not, not like, but they're still a part of your business. Right, right. It, when you said bake, I, it, I took me back to early. I was having a conversation with my cousin, and she was talking about um, how each each person is an ingredient in that uh, that that cake, and so she, like she's saying, I'm an ingredient. My my mother was an ingredient. My dad. You know, and going all the way back, that we're all ingredients. We have our individual journeys, but we, we all make that part, that cake. Now I would say so we lovely. need to market that cake. <laughs> we need to get the recipe. We need to see what we could do, package right, it, and then right, maybe we right, can sell right. it to path markets. Yeah, right. but it was so sweet when she said, I said, I'm going to use that, Jan. <laughs> no, it's true. And, and, and that's what a business is. Like you said, we a yeah. business. Um, the individual, yeah. but collectively, you're there all purposely for a reason. So you're there to help and nurture each other. And we have, we all have strengths, weakness, exactly. and, and there's opportunities and threats. So ideally, that we would use all of our strengths mm -hmm. to be the best we can. Right. And even in then, we may succeed. Yes. But then again, there's still areas that we need to work on. Mm -hmm. You know, like you could be good to get the customer in the door, but then how do you treat them when they get in the door? Exactly. So. And then the other thing is marketing. Some people are not good at marketing, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and I heard a story uh, with James Brown years ago, how he was so great. He would say, hey, I'm James Brown. I'll be playing on the corner. And he'd tell 30 people, and he'd come back, tell another 30 people, hey, I'm James Brown. I'll be playing on the corner. 
And the moral of the story is, if you don't promote yourself, no one will. <laughs> so like, these, but these ideas may sound simple, right? but some people are shy. Mm -hmm. What about shy people when they go into business, they don't have that ability to think, you know, I'm mm -hmm. gonna self-promote myself. Right, right. But right. it's an important concept because if, in business, it starts when you talk to the customer. Exactly. They don't know what you do until you, until you told me you was on, got this show, I didn't know. But right. then when you told me, I said, all right, it's an opportunity. Uh -huh. exactly. So it's the same way in business. That's why you need those different skill sets and mindsets. Mm -hmm. So um, there was one more picture, I believe we could see that now. Okay, well, that looks like one of your team building uh, pictures there. Well, that's when we recruit them. Oh, okay. <laughs> see, when they come in, uh -huh. we, have, we swear them in because we swear them okay. in by the U.S. Constitution, oh, very nice. the laws of the state of New York, mm -hmm. and the bylaws of the Long Island African American Chamber of Commerce, because we want them to know that it's, even though it's a nonprofit, mm -hmm. we're looking for serious people that are trying to build their business and be a part of the members. It's part That's of the pride great. of wearing this pin every day mm. and, 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 what we, and what we represent. Excellent, and I, I love that. It's, uh, you, you're gonna be and a part of this. And we pin them too, we pin them too. You get pinned and you get sworn in, how yeah. lovely. Yes. And so it's very, um, and the nurturing continues from there. Because the sign of commitment is very important. I learned that many years ago. You. That's why the military, they make you do certain things. You, you, you swear in to do this. Mm -hmm. Because it's, your word should mean something to you, right? It when you come in and say, I'm going to be a good member. Mm -hmm. So we want members to be good. And one of the ways we do that is how we bring them in from the start. And mm -hmm. we let them know that we, are, we expect certain things it's from them. It's a discipline. Them. Even like as when I was uh, with a cousin of mine recently, well, family family member and um, he was saying because of the way I eat and um, the way that I you know I, I do meditation and things like that he was saying to me what I see is mind body purity I said that's what it is mm -hmm. I want to keep my mind and my body pure and, and, and in a good way so that I can receive what I need to receive from that energy you know the God, the God. And energy. I'm glad you're present. If we not, if we not present in the world. We said we ain't gonna get nothing. <laughs> so you have to be present. And, and then, uh, like you right. said, and um, uh, there's a thing that I always go by. You know, be still and know mm -hmm. that I'm God. That's right. And when you when you know God, you know your potential. Mm -hmm. So I, I love meditation because I think we all need to retire to the silence occasionally <laughs> and get away from the noises. <laughs> there's a lot of noises out there. <laughs> Plenty of noises, whether it be natural noises or <laughs> natural noises. Yeah. And so we do need that quiet space to just listen and... And, and, and get to know ourselves. Get to know ourselves and mm. hear that light voice speaking to you, trying to get your attention. So that's what it does. And so, you know, Phil, we're down to the last few minutes. If you could just sum up with like one minute, just say um, anything you'd like to say to the viewers. Well, i like to say uh, stay encouraged. Um, if you want to... Uh Go into a business. There is viable organizations like the Long Island African American Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. uh, we really do believe in helping people achieve their dreams, mm -hmm. and um, I, I I believe that this is our time, and um, I believe this. He put me here for a particular reason, yes. and we're gonna we're gonna continue to build the organization, and we hope you come visit us. I mean, just Google us. I mean, we're doing great work and Excellent. people are already telling us that they're looking at our work around the country so mm. sometimes when you do things very well you only think that you, that um, people are looking locally right but even Jesus was not recognized in his home own hometown so That's happens, our right? work our work is definitely um, making a difference and we want to be a model for people around the country saying you know I, I count I can succeed I can prosper but it takes it takes work and mm -hmm. commitment, and we are committed to uh, making a difference Thank you. in business development. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. I appreciate you coming on. Thank you. And I look forward to uh, connecting with you in the future. And you know, so best of luck to you and the organization. And we take those Thank blessings you. too. We appreciate. <laughs> we take them and we receive blessings when people give them to Lovely. us. Lovely. Okay. Thank you. And to the viewers, your level of consciousness is the gateway to the future. Thank you. Thank you.